take a ride. I'm gonna set the club, baby. Make What's going on, into YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching the video here with me on right, 54 More. Uh, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to change the air filter on your Dodge Dart. Okay, so first thing we're gonna start off with is moving this upper piece here. I'm gonna move the cap. Um, I'm pretty sure it could probably come over there. But back here, there's the plug. I'm gonna disconnect this plug. This is for the uh, sensor. There's a screw back there uh, that would loosen this, but my clamp up here is already broken. So you'll make sure you want to loosen the screw back there off the throttle body, uh, the clamp off the throttle body. And then we come over here, we're just gonna loosen this up completely. Pry that back a little bit, separate it. Once we do that, we're gonna lift up. Keep lifting, keep lifting, everything is separating. Like I said, back here you have a clamp on the throttle body. The clamp pulls off, and then that's your intake uh, ducting off. All right, so now that this uh, upper piece is off, um, one of mine is broken over here, but we'll see about that when I get around to it. Uh, pull off this hose right here, just gonna rotate it up. Then I'm gonna get one screw out of here since my other second one is broken. This one feels like it's gonna break too, but. Next time I'll just use a uh, power drill. And there it comes off. And now that's out. Pull out your air filter. You see how this one looks. And uh, decent but it's going on Toro, so I might as well change it. So let me go ahead and clean out the inside and then I'll put in the new one. Okay, so this is the new one. A uh, nice little STP uh, filter. Probably cheap. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in. Just go right back in the same way it came out. I'm gonna pull out this screw here and then see if I can uh, get it to hold down some more of the intake. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I've got the screw out. I'm going to go ahead and these three right here, these three notches, slide into these three notches over here. Uh, bam. Let's try to get it in properly because this was not installed properly just now when I took it off. All right, there we go. So that's in now. And like I said, use power tools if you have them. That one's decent in there. Uh, this one was broken, but I'm going to see if I can get it to catch a portion of the... Uh, uh, not really, but kind of. All right, so let's make sure I cinch that one down. So now we got that down. I'm gonna rotate this back, plug this on, and now I will put back on the upper piece. All right, so now that uh, it's back in, uh, I can go ahead and put this piece back in. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off. Slide this in her. There we go. Go ahead, that's in there. Tighten these up. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this back here. Put my cap back in. And then I will tighten up this screw right here. And that is all. All right, well, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment, turn on notifications, and hit that share button. Hope this video helps somebody, and I'll catch you guys in the next DIY vlog or whatever.